For over 90 years since King Kong changed the way we see movies, Godzilla and Kong have always been larger than life on the silver screen. But did these creatures ever survive in the real world? Let's find out. According to Monarch Case Files, Godzilla stands at 120 meters tall and weighs a whopping 99,000 tons or 198 million pounds, while Kong towers just shy of that at 103 meters with an estimated weight of roughly 158,000 tons or 316 million pounds. But I have a hard time believing that a 100 meter ape would weigh so much more than Godzilla. Since Kong is essentially a giant gorilla, let's scale up a gorilla to Kong's height and see what we get. The average adult gorilla can weigh around 181 kilograms and stand at 1.6 meters tall. When scaled up to the size of Kong, this gives us a mass of 48 million kilograms. This is only about a third of the mass documented by Monarch, but Kong isn't a typical gorilla either. His body structure and posture is more human-like than versions prior, and since our approximation was in the same order of magnitude as the film, I'm willing to let this discrepancy slide. But let's not shy away from the point. All you need to know is that these monsters are massive. To put Godzilla's size into perspective, the largest dinosaur to ever roam the Earth measured close to 100 feet tall and weighed nearly 100 tons. That's 0.1% of Godzilla's weight. Let them fight. Mass isn't the only problem with Godzilla and Kong. There's an evolutionary reason why we don't have 400-foot gorillas and fire-breathing dragons walking around. The anatomy just doesn't work. When you scale up an object by a factor of X, the surface area of that object increases by a factor of x squared, while the volume of the object increases by a factor of x cubed. For example, if an object doubles in size, its surface area increases by a factor of 4, while its volume increases by a factor of 8. In other words, a gorilla doubled in size has 8 times the mass of a normal gorilla, and that's only where the problems start. When an animal is scaled up to the size of their legendary counterparts, organs become too big to function, and the heart is no longer strong enough to pump blood throughout the body. And because the mass that's being supported increases at a faster rate than the cross-sectional area, bones are no longer strong enough to support the weight and movement of these animals. They would simply shatter. To support the size of these creatures, their bones would have to be stronger than titanium alloy, making them arguably some of the most valuable materials on the planet. The true scale of these monsters is massive. In Godzilla vs. Kong, Adam Wingard did a great job blending the slow movement of 2014's Godzilla with the dynamic action of 2019's King of the Monsters. But just how fast are Godzilla and Kong in the MonsterVerse? And could they break the speed of sound with the wave of a hand? Analyzing the footage of Godzilla vs. Kong at 24 frames per second, I examined the movement of these two titans to estimate their velocities from four unique sequences in the film. And here's what I found. In this scene, Godzilla's claw travels approximately 60 meters over the course of 6 frames of footage, giving his swat at Kong a velocity of 240 meters per second or 537 miles per hour, which is about the same velocity as a commercial airplane. In this shot, Kong's fist travels approximately 100 meters over the course of 14 frames of footage, giving his punch a velocity of 172 meters per second or 385 miles per hour. That's impressive, but we can do better. Because when Kong uses his fist as a hammer, it travels approximately 50 meters over the course of 5 frames, giving his attack a velocity of 240 meters per second, or 537 miles per hour, matching the speed of Godzilla. But when Kong uses his axe to deliver a fatal blow to Mechagodzilla, the tip of his weapon travels approximately 100 meters over the course of 5 frames, giving his swing a velocity of 599 meters per second, or 1340 miles per hour, well surpassing the speed of sound. Meaning the tip of Kong's axe has a potential to create a sonic boom every time he swings it. Godzilla and Kong may look like they're moving in slow motion, but in reality, these monsters are as fast as a fighter jet. And that's the true scale of Godzilla and Kong. They could never exist in our world. But that's probably for the best. Are you disappointed by this news? Is there still hope for the existence of a Mecha Godzilla? Comment down below and let me know. And as always, thank you for taking time out of your day for this moment of science.